Here are the best tech and science breakthroughs of 2021. This is Nerdist Now. As the year draws to a close, we here at Nerdist like to reflect on the previous 365 days and say things like, oh yeah, that did happen, or why isn't Pig in your top 10 movies of the year? Seriously, if it's not, I'm judging you. Nick Cage forever, go see it. It's a bit of an understatement to say that a lot of things happened in 2021. It was definitely easy to miss some of the biggest breakthroughs in the science and tech world if you weren't paying attention. And no, we're not talking about that robot with a human face that looks like it wants to fight Will Smith. Now, there were a lot of advancements in science that happened this year, both beneficial and straight up weird. I'm looking at you, Hidden Valley's ranch nog, you f***ing freaks. God is frowning. So if you want to read all about those, Nerdist writers Michael Walsh and Matthew Hart have you covered over on Nerdist.com. In the meantime, let's get into it. All the way back in February 2021, NASA landed the Mars Perseverance rover on the surface of the Red Planet. And if you want to learn more, watch our interview with NASA's planetary protection engineer, Dr. Mujige Cooper, all about the future of Mars exploration. And in April of this year, Perseverance launched the first ever mini helicopter flight on Mars as well. It might not surprise you to learn the surface of Mars isn't the easiest geography to navigate. And thankfully, the NASA rover came equipped with the Ingenuity Mini Copter, which as of last week, completed its 17th flight on the planet. And that's way more flights than the helicopter I tried to build last year during lockdown. I mean, yes, it was just a box fan screwed to the top of a Nissan Versa from Hero Season 1 that I bought on eBay, but it was either that or learn how to make sourdough, and I, did, I couldn't find a starter. There were all sold out. Speaking of space travel, SpaceX successfully landed its Starship rocket for the first time back in March. SpaceX had their fair share of failures when it came to trying to fly and land their prototype Starship rocket, but it's not about how many times you fall over and explode, it's about getting back up again, like Chumbawamba. And back in September, SpaceX's Crew Dragon shuttle was used for the Inspiration4 flight. It successfully sent Jared Isaacman and a crew of four civilians on the first orbital mission without trained astronauts. SpaceX has been very dedicated to sending people to the moon and to Mars, because as I once learned from a movie, apparently Mars, they are in dire need of moms. They have ghosts aplenty, but like no moms, which I guess that's probably what happened to the moms. That's why they need more. They're ghosts now. Also, we can't forget to include the CIA basically confirmed that UFOs are totally a thing. What's that? We can? Nobody cared? All right, moving on. Engineers from Northwestern University also developed airborne microbots. Now I know that sounds like the start of a Bruce Willis movie you might find at your local gas station, but they're definitely a net benefit for society. These seed-like microbots really live up to their airborne adjective. They have digital sensors which give them the ability to communicate wirelessly along with having an onboard power source. And according to engineer John Rogers, these bots can be used to help monitor air pollution, track and analyze environmental disasters like chemical spills for easier cleanup, up, and even track diseases that can affect human populations. And finally, we're wrapping up in the realm of cerebral organoids, everybody's favorite topic. Researchers at the University Hospital Dusseldorf in Germany created tiny brains with semi-functional eyeballs. Kind of like Kane's brain from that scene in Robocop 2. Just me? All right. Now, it may seem a little weird for scientists to make tiny brains with tiny eyes and tiny test tubes, but this advancement is helping doctors and scientists to understand congenital retinal disorders as early as the embryo stage. And folks, that is way better than the scientists who made a chimera embryo that's part human, part monkey, because if we learned anything from Full Metal Alchemist, you need to use part human, part dog. Otherwise, you just have a war for the planet of the apes on your hands, and who has time for that? Woody Harrelson? And there you have it, folks. This year was an all hypothetical anti-sex Olympics beds, weird bus memes, and Microsoft killing Internet Explorer in its sleep, which, did you know that happened? Because it totally did. And as we head into 2022, let's cross our fingers and hope for even more technological achievements that aren't just Elon Musk putting Pong inside a monkey's brain. Do you want Planet of the Apes, Elon? Because that's how you get Planet of the Apes. But folks, tell us, what were your favorite moments in science and technology from this past year? Would you wear smart clothes knitted by an MIT robot? Will you betray the human race when the gorilla folk learn how to drive cars? Let let us know in the comments below, and for the latest and greatest in the world of pop culture and tech and science, stay tuned to Nerdist.com.